Do you manage an apartment complex? Do you own one? Are you a part of a syndicate that owns multiple? Well, here's an opportunity to show you what photogrammetry and aerial mapping can do for you. It can help with your post purchase or even due diligence to find out what you might need. This is really cool. This was taken, you can see up here on April 27th of 2022. By this, but you'll be able to go out there and take a look at the condition of your property from the comfort of your desk. You can see that we've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 buildings that are out here. Can you imagine how long it would take to manually walk this property and take a look at all 18 buildings? Well, I'll tell you what, in just a matter of one day, you can go out here and fly this property, have the information back on your desk. Let's take a look on about how big the property is. Property is approximately 12.1 acres. You can see that on the bottom left over here. That would take a long time, but I'm telling you right from your desk, like you're looking at it right now, you can zoom in. And let's just put it this way. First of all, all of our maps are put on top of the superimposed on overlay of Google Maps. You can tell what you've been, what you've flown by being able to see the difference between the very bright colors and then the very deep colors, or the very basic colors. It's out here. You can tell this is with a 4K, 4K HD camera. And this is just taken from a satellite about two and a half miles up in the middle of nowhere. When you zoom right in, You'll be able to see that at a certain point you start losing uh, perspective of what's going on and then you can see all of a sudden you can see the detail on the left over here taken by the camera compared to what's up two and a half miles compared to 100 feet 150 feet you'll be able to see the difference let's go back over here now you can go out here and very quickly go out and do a very quick assessment of the property again for is your due diligence prior to pre-purchase or you can use this um, to help determine and show your lenders the condition of the property it's excellent that's out there you can go in here and zoom right in and take a look and see that yeah, this uh parking lot has seen better days um you can tell that uh it does need some work it's got some issues but again you can go out here and literally very very quickly zoom out see if there's something that you don't like or do like something that you want to take a look at well, let's see how these pictures are yeah those have been sealed up you then zoom back out Take a look, okay, yeah, we've got some cracks and with certain issues with the property there. You can also see that might use an upgrade of uh, paint, coating of paint on the parking lot, striping. You can go out there and take a look very quickly then at the condition. Now let's take a look at your pool. Well, all right. Definitely the pool needs to be cleaned, it needs to have some chemicals added to it on April 27th. Granted, don't know if it gotten very warm by then, but you certainly need to, just something to think about that's over there. You can go out there and help identify um, issues. In this particular instance, what we were finding on some of these buildings, now there's some pooling that's going on. So there are some uh, dips and drains in there, but it's really not in bad condition. This is also an excellent opportunity for you to have a pre-disaster um, copy of uh, an evidence of the condition of your property uh, whether it happens to be a natural disaster or, or anything else like that or fire or anything uh, that may cause damage you can have this with your insurance company say hey this is what it looked like on april 27th and help uh, go out there maybe settle your case a lot quicker um, but also then too you can take a look at the properties you're not too bad loose we have some pooling over here in the corner take a quick look at that uh, this is the dog section this is their dog little park over here and actually, you can take a look at it. We'll uh, go back and look at something else in just a second. Well, why don't we do that right now? Right now, before we go to another section, we're going to take a look at the overall, overall plant health that's out there. You can see that right here, this is a very big uh, brown side, I mean, green section for your dogs and trees. Let's just go find out what the plant health uh, looks like. Anything that happens to be red or dark red is obviously dead. Bright green or green is in uh, excellent health. And then uh, you said probably because of the dogs, this is... Uh, not looking so well, but at least the dog property, you can see that there is some overall health, a good thing that's going on. I did like to see something that's really cool that's out here. Uh, and this is great too for landscapers, because uh, you can go out and see in the front of the property that we have some very healthy plants here because they're 
they're in green. Uh, but then you can uh, look at some of these other plants that are, you know, quite bad. And quite frankly, if we just go out there, And open it back up. We can go out to these plants over here and say, oh, these things don't look really good at all. You take off the plant health, and boom, you can tell that this one's dead right here. See how that was dead? Go back to plant health, and there it is. See how red it is? Red is the stone that's out there. This one here is dead as well. Take these two. You can go out there and tell where your dead plants are. Determine whether or not you're going to have to put any money into uh, landscaping of the property. But here you can go out back and take a look. Instead, you could use this. I wouldn't use this as a replacement for a full walkthrough um, pre-purchase and due diligence. However, this is not a bad, uh, relatively inexpensive way for you to take a quick bird's eye view of it, determine whether or not you want to spend that type of money. When you go in, you can zoom in at this particular property. You can see a lot of uh, pooling and ponding. Some serious issues over here. It looks like we may have something else that's going on as well in this corner. Uh, but then you can at least determine where some issues uh, we can we'll take a look at this particular building here and realize that we have some very serious issues of ponding. Uh, and these, again, there hasn't been any rain for three days, yet there still is some significant ponding on this particular property. And especially even over here, this is an indication of a very bad roof problem, something that you may want to address uh, to try to get um, that repaired prior to having a major repair issue along the way because you had a, uh, a catastrophic failure but this over here you'll be able to tell as well that um, even some of these drains they're they're not properly taken care of so you can send your maintenance crew up there and go out there and clean out those drains so this is a very good overall view of how you can take a look at things cool part about this is now let's go out here and with the click of a button on the little cube in the bottom of the center of the page you can go out there and get yourself a 3d rendering of the entire property, which is really cool uh, because it is done uh, with a 4K two-dimensional flyover. Now, once a little blue arrow or blue streaks keep going by, it means it's been totally rendered. I would wait for a second to make sure it's done that, just to make sure that it's uh, complete and good condition before you start playing with it. Okay, it's gone, so now we can go out there and inspect it, and we can turn it around. We can zoom in and take a look at a three-dimensional rendering. Look at the clarity that you have on your buildings. Again, you can take a look at the top of the uh, top of the roof from a different angle. Even these cars look in great shape, even when you zoom in. So you can have a good 3D model of what your property looks like. And actually, we can actually do a little bit better than that because we can do it with a facade, take extra pictures, and make this model look even better. So if we go back over here to the standard map, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. Um, you can, first of all, after this is done, there is no monthly um, fee or anything like that or subscription to go out there and see this. Once you have this um, rendering, it is yours to keep. Uh, we suggest that you inspect your property every six months to help determine what's going on. With that, you can, as different is multiple pictures being taken so this happens to be maybe six months later in october we'll do it again you can do a side-by-side -side comparison it'll find because these pictures are embedded with time dates and stamps as well as a gps location to go out there and have a side-by-side -side comparison to determine how it was uh six months ago and determine if it's gotten better or gotten worse or we got other problems you can also then go out there and share this invite the project you can have other people go out there and take a look at it uh, yourself. You can see we've got three people over here already watching this project. Uh, but then also you too, you can go out there and export your PDF maps. Uh, send it to um, a an email. You can go out there and export JPEG maps. Send it to an email or you can print it. It's all up there. Again, there's no additional cost. We just recommend it's going out there. If you would like to have a full demonstration of, on your own uh, of your property, uh, and you would like to have something taken care of it, please drop me a note. You can send my email is mike at mikesipphotography.com. That's M-I-K-E-C-I-P at photography.com. Mike at M-I-K-E-C-I-P photography. It's right over here on the left-hand side. Dot com. I'd love to be able to discuss your project. Tom, we might be able to help you out. Appreciate your time. You have a great day.